so this is going to be a first for me. Um, I came up with an idea for a ship, and well, I'm going to be building it now, as well as you watch. If it all goes to plan by the end, well, you'll know if it goes to plan because I uploaded the video and you'll see the thumbnail and you'll see the ship. If it doesn't go to plan, well, there's no video and I'm basically talking to myself right now. But yeah, so let's get into it straight away. It's, you know, I'm going to uh, dance around it. So the design of this ship is inspired by a few various different things. I'm just going to go for a basic model, but I do have plans to make different versions, like a small sort of gunship version, like a transport version, and then like a medium cruiser, and then a heavy cruiser. I do have plans to make different versions, but for now I'm just going to go for a very basic ship. Keep it simple, just to see if the design works, and see if it looks cool. Um, so... The main inspiration behind this ship is actually uh, from Star Trek, of all things. It's, uh, it's the um, Cardassian ships, the, the main inspiration behind this. Right, so that's the first part. And then, uh, structural. Oh, I need Habs now. So I'm going to do the Habs first, I think. Yeah, I'll do the Habs first. So the Habs first is going to be very simple. In the future, I'm going to try and make a bigger one with more Habs, but... For now, I'm going to keep it simple. I forgot that I actually do need to make sure I put the doors in myself. So. I'm going to go with Stroud Eklund for this build, I think. Alright. Uh, Stroud Get that down first, and then let's get the cockpit down. And I hope I have enough money for this as well. As I'm concerned, I'm gonna run out. Alright, so that's the beginning. So now I have to start making sure I put in the doors myself. So let's do that now. Uh, no, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong thing. That's cockpits. Okay. All right, doors, 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 and halves. All right. All right. So this is all going to be. Um... Um, just thinking now. Um, trying to think of how big I want to make it. So. I would really have liked this for this to be way back here, but if it's way back here, well... Yeah. Um, let's do the reactors now. Let's do this next. Uh, I want a C-class reactor, I want one of these. Uh, all the mods I've used to build this, like, a pa like um, as you can see, the power generated by this is quite large. So I will try and link all the mods that I've used to put this together. And then... Uh, reactor next, so... Let's do reactors. There they are now. Grab drives, that's what I meant. Grab drives, there we are. Um, let's go for a B. I'm thinking if I can do the underside first, that can uh, give me a general idea of what I'm going for. So next, let's go structural. Damn, this is perfect. So this ship is going to be a sort of a mix between Stroud Eklund and Deimos. Um, uh, yeah, I need a specific Deimos part for this bit. Is. Right. That's that bit done. I have 
perhaps now. By the way, this mod that allows you to play stores yourself is honestly I've used this mod or I think I don't know if it's the exact same mod or if it's a different mod. But I've used this on PC and it is easily one of the best mods I've ever had. Like ever downloaded. Like sure I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I've downloaded all the Star Wars mods and stuff, but it, this is honestly just the best mod I've ever downloaded because it, it's such a quality of life thing Just being able to place the doors yourself so the ladders and stuff don't end up in stupid places And I'm just trying to think of how I want to build this so uh, Next uh, I think I'm gonna just gonna try putting that in a hand let's have a look. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a basic design. So let's go for an all in one fifth next. And then let's go for a control station. Oh, wait, no, if I do that. If you don't do this, there's uh, no doors at all. This basically what this mod does is it disables the um, the default door, so every door has to be manually placed itself. Uh, yeah, I copied it right. Passageway. way. For now, I think I'm gonna leave that as it is. This is gonna be a pretty long ship. Like lengthwise, this is a really long ship because I'm. I, I like to make sure I have enough halves. It fits multiple people. So yeah, it's gonna be quite a long ship. Let's have a look. Living quarters next, shall we? That'll be it for now, I think. I may have may add something in later. Um, let's go for landing gear. I have a very specific line. This one. Now let's go for the main bits. Uh, structural, here guys, what I'm looking for. No, 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 wait, it's gear I need. Gear, 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 gear. gear. Alright, bear with me. I said this, um. for now that gives me all my landing gears uh, depending on how heavy this ship becomes I shouldn't need any more landing gear than this I'm just trying to figure out how to do front um, this bit's gonna be coming off either side of this the way I had it planned trying to think trying to think trying to think let's do I need the start deck on pieces, so let's do that. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, that does kind of work. Mm. Right, it sticks out too much at the front there, so let's go. Let's go with that. So that's one way of doing it, which is actually not too bad. But the other way I was thinking was to use uh, these bits here, so. Huh. Just kind of hoping they'd have one that faces forward. So there is a mod I've used on PC that does something similar where it has like a forward facing piece. But I'm guessing this isn't the same mod because. I don't face forward at all, so yeah, I'm stuck with uh, those pieces for now. And, uh, yeah. Uh, what? I can still use it for the top. What I was looking for. And that's that part done. Alright, yeah, it's sort of taking shape. Sort of. <laughs> um, Alright, let's go on to. Let's just do this bit now. This thing is starting to sort of take shape a little bit. I want to move that back. No. I want to keep that where it is. Alright. Next bit will be. another engine on you somewhere and just trying to figure out how to do it. Uh, do, 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 do. Now you see that could sort of work. It would be out of the way of those bottom ones but So yeah, with these doors, the only thing you don't need to connect them to is the uh, cockpits and the uh, landing base. They sort of do that themselves, so let's have a this way. Companion ways turn it into a storeroom. Boom, like that. to go on the back here yeah, maybe
curious, but... These white dwarf ones. I mean, I'll have a spine running along here, and that should do it for the engines. Mm, I don't know. Actually, I'm thinking more of what if I do this. So I'm having issues with the uh, rear end of the thing. I'll come back to that now. Well, that's that's all that's left I have to do really is just the back end, right? Let's do let's do some more of the structural stuff. So let's get the I want to get structural spine running along the back of the ship. I could really do with something in the knee. Um, this is going. Is this one? Two, there we go. Oh, now there's a connection point on the back. So if I put that there, and then. Aha! I got it. I know what to do. That connection point works the way I think it might. Might be able to slot one of these underneath. That's perfect. Little storeroom at the back. Perfect. Alright. That works. Yeah. Let's go with that and then down to structural. Uh, so I can get my 200 crew slots. Just so I don't have to worry about crew. What's missing? Docker and fuel tank. Oh, I didn't think about the docker at all. Um, so I wanted to tr well I failed to keep the ship within the 40 meter thing because well yeah uh, I oh, and if I do this and this and boom boom 
Boom. Three niche, four. Like so. Move on your favor forward, all right. Completely forgot to include the darker, so that's going to be an interesting thing to sort out. Uh, what if I move the reactor to here? So, oh yeah, it's completely failed to fit within the 46 meter radius sort of thing, but... I mean, 40 meter radius, yeah, not 46. But, I need a fuel tank. Alright. Uh, fuel tanks uh, here. I have a few favorites, I like, like these ones. Alright, the ship is time to uh, take shape. Alright. Uh, one more thing you need to do. You do that because it's something special to go be. Actually, no, wait. I just realized I might have to do that. Uh, and shields. this so what if I okay okay so that glitch my it still works all right boom all right perfect that hides the shield <laughs> um uh, what's left weaponry all right weaponry weaponry and then color and so far this ship is working out sort of as planned I did have a mod that recolored the uh, weapons to black, and it was just working a second ago. That's weird. Um, I wish the weapons changed color based on, like, you know, the colors you choose for your ship. I, it's really weird that they don't. Like, it's an odd decision by Bethesda to make it so that weapons have their own unique color. Um, I kind of want, like, gold. Uh, gold beams. So. I'm trying to remember what weapons. Weaponry gives off the gold beams, but I'm not entirely sure. But I also wouldn't mind the idea of having real guns. All damage 55, right? Alright, see? That's just annoying that they don't fit. Yeah. Uh, no. Alright. 
I guess I need something small to go into those weapon slots. So let's have a look. Uh, just, just gonna have a look on Google because I know one of the weapons can. Uh, I do want some missiles though, so let's get some missiles in. He's going here. Yeah, alright. Maybe not these ones, let's have a look. Um, these ones. Alright, missiles for the wings, and now I need one final weapon. I would like something to fire, it's like a gold beam, but I can't remember what weapons fire gold. I know these ones fire blue. Um, I think maybe these ones fire gold. I don't like the look of them. Does it fit? It fits. Primary color, sort of white. Secondary color. So that. Let's change that to um, gold. That's it, right? Make this darker. Makes it like a gold almost. And then for this one. Alright, so, yeah, it's almost turned out how I planned. When I was thinking about this in my head, I didn't, I wasn't really thinking about these bits here, so. Oh, I don't like that at all. Right, let's change these. Sort of the design, so I just got to sign these weapons: a rail gun, neutron beam, and missile launcher. All right. There is one slight problem with this that I didn't even think about, and that's because of its size. I'm guessing. Yeah. All right. That comes far, or way too far. So let's try and. Hey, what can I do for you? Sure. How about? I want to fix that. God, one of the mods I have allows you to flip these to face the other way. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. If I can find somewhere else to put this. If I can find somewhere else to put the generator, I could move this further back. And then have one of these underneath the ship, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Unless I could place one of these under there, but it'll have to like be hidden. You see what I mean? Could do it like. Oh, 
Oh, there's a frame rate drop. All right. Take a stupid gun off it. And then try this again. And, uh, I don't like the way that glitch is through. That's fine. All right. All right. So that's the ship. They like said it was kind of inspired by the Cardassian ships from Star Trek and some other sort of designs. The ship, the show I was well, not show the movie I was watching where I figured I, I want to try and make something like this is the uh, the movie Dune. It's for dragonfly things, and I was thinking like a. Uh, so sort of like a dragonfly design with a big tail end and then a heavy front end. So let's uh let's take a look on the inside. So I, like I said, I have design ideas to try and build like a bigger version of these, like multiple versions, like a small um, gunship version. Um, like a smaller, like this is a good size, and like a cruiser, and then like a heavy ship. This is sort of like a nice standard sort of combat cruiser size. Let's go test out the firepower on this thing now. Just gonna save before I do this. And another thing I didn't think of, I'm used to playing on PC, and I'm, like with all these different mods and stuff to make ships bigger, I'm not really used to console, and the problem with console is the mod that I would use to bring the camera way back isn't on console yet, so the camera's really zoomed in on these big ships. So this sort of, yeah, this is working. It's not the worst looking ship I've ever come up with. And like I said, I would like it if the, uh, the cockpit was sort of further back. Recessed into the thing. Ah, oh, now that I've moved the um, thing, it might actually be possible. Uh, let's test these weapons out. So I got the missiles. Okay, so yeah, it is those weapons that have the gold beams. Alright. Alright. So yeah, that's this ship built. Um, I'm thinking about trying to build a few more different designs. Build that the same way. And um, I have plans, like I said, for a smaller version, which might not have such a big tail or will be brought in more. And uh, yeah. I think I'm going to have to download like uh, one of those mods that has like, smaller modules that you can use. So then I don't have to have such a big reactor and ground driving. You just have little modules sort of towards the front end of the ship. Yeah, that's... Uh, the ship. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Maybe the Dragonfly or something, but yeah. Uh, if you're watching this and you've seen the title of the video, you know what the, I've called this design. I'm probably going to go with the Dragonfly. But yeah. Um, if you're wondering what ship from, like, specifically from Star Wars inspired this, the Cardassian ships have like... Um, I can't remember what it's called, the Gala class or something. If you play Star Trek Online, you'll see sort of a resemblance. Yeah. How fast is this thing? Uh, it's not too bad. 
man. See, I could fit two extra engines on the back instead of those um, supply things. But yeah, uh, that's it for this ship build, and um, I'll probably like when I've come up with some more designs and made, made like an entire fleet. Essentially, I'll come back and do another video on like the full fleet. This was just like, like a proof of concept to see if this sort of design can work. And it can, so... Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed, and I shall see you in the next one.